Okay, John, now the morning mist is, is burned off. The dry flies have stopped. Now we're going to have to change our tactics and we're going to go subsurface now. Now the stealth still remains the same. So we're, we're going to split up and look for marauding fish. Now, where are we going to be looking for them mainly? Well, as, uh, as the mist burns off, my feeling is that the trout move just slightly deeper. Right. Um, although they still work um, the breaks and the drop offs. Look, looking for cruising damselflies, right. hexes, uh, water boatmen, mm -hmm. any of the uh, any of sort of the core subsurface feed in in this pond. Certainly, there's a lot of it here from what we've seen today. Right. Um, there's no shortage of food, but they're big trout and they have big engines that need mm -hmm. to be fueled all day long. That's to right. Keep and them you going. can see we we've got some quality fish. Now I'm using the countdown method, which means is I figured that this fly is going to sink about three inches per second. So I'm going to count it down maybe to 20 seconds and, and then start my slow retrieve. you got a hex nymph on there. And, uh, oh, no, you got the same, I'm sorry. I've, 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 I've switched over I've switched from the over. hex. You up. had a hex earlier, yeah. I had a hex earlier, and I've switched over to this uh, same sparkle-type leech. And uh, I'm using about a 9-foot leader and just letting it settle down um, settle down to where the tip of the, of the, uh, the dry fly line starts to sink and okay. then slowly inching it back. Okay. Uh, I figure that'll put me nine or 10 feet down. Okay, well let's split up and, 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 and keep our low profile and see if we can produce a few more fish. Sounds good. Great, let's go. Up he comes. Good fish. Good fish. James, I'll get on you this way. Maybe I won't. And oh, 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 bring him back. He's almost. <laughs> Good size. Yeah. What do you think he is? How big? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, probably 18 anyways. Yeah. These highly fertile ponds, they, they, they have great growth. No doubt about it. That is a decent fish in anybody's mind. Great. Let's revive him. Wonderful fish. There are two basic retrieves that we used. One is a strip retrieve. The speed can be varied to give the fly action. We use this when fishing leech patterns. The second is a slow weave retrieve that is used when fishing scuds or coronamids. This retrieve is meant to be dead slow. When fighting a fish in a pond, keep the rod high and use the rod's shock absorption to ensure your tippet doesn't break. There are two methods of line control when fighting a fish. In this case, the fish is not all that big, and all you need to do is strip the line under your finger. This, however, is not what you want to do if you're fighting a big fish. You must get the line on the reel as fast as you can, all the while being conscious of what the fish is doing as you fight it. Fighting the fish in quickly and the use of a soft, no-knot mesh in your landing net will increase the survival rate of a released fish. Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to get all of our weekly uploads.